Hello, my friends all over the world. Now, I think I might have just found the best looking sedan possibly in the world, but almost certainly the best looking electric sedan in China. Hello, welcome to the channel. Fantastic to have you here on the Electric Viking. Now, if you haven't been here before, to let you know, I am an EV and renewable energy optimist. Some would say I'm a little bit too optimistic. Personally, I don't think that's true. I honestly think I'm more of a realist. But anyway, let's have a look at this new EV. Now, Chinese legacy car giant, Chang'an Automobile, on Tuesday unveiled its new premium electric car brand, Avatar. The same as the Avatar movie, yep, same thing, it's called Avatar Technology, and it unveiled its first model in partnership with Huawei and CATL. Now, if you didn't already know, CATL is the largest battery manufacturer in the world. LG Chem is in second place. In third place is Panasonic and in fourth place is BYD. Now, if you're not sure who Chang'an Automobile are, I don't blame you. Most people outside of China haven't heard of them either. Chang'an Automobile Group Company Limited are a Chinese state-owned automobile manufacturer headquartered in Chongqing, China. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. I'd say I definitely didn't pronounce that right. But anyway, now the main thing they do is they work on production cars, micro vans, commercial vans, and light trucks. And they also develop, design, and manufacture and sell passenger cars sold under the Chang'an brand and commercial vehicles sold also under the China brand. Now they operate joint ventures with Ford, which is called Chang'an Ford, Mazda, Chang'an Mazda, and Jingling Motor Corporation Group. Now basically they build Ford vehicles and Mazda vehicles for sale in China, and the Chinese government makes it a requirement for all overseas manufacturers to have a joint venture with a company in China so that that company in China can then manufacture those cars for whoever they are, whether that be Toyota, Honda, BMW, Mercedes. There's only one brand in China, one Western owned brand in China that is allowed to produce its own cars by itself. And that company is called Tesla. Now getting back to Chang'an, I already talked about Avatar earlier in this year. Now the brand was called Chang'an Neo at the time, and it was because it was a joint venture between Chang'an and Neo, but the name has since been changed to Avatar. Now in the past few months, Chang'an has been working on its first electric vehicle. And now Tuesday's launch event, Chang'an chairman, Zhu Huarong, Huawei managing director and smart car solutions, BU CEO, Richard Yu and CATL chairman, Robin Zeng unveiled Avatar and they announced the first model called the E11. The E11 will be built on their jointly created Intelligent Electric Networked Vehicle Architecture, CHN for short, where C stands for Chang'an, H stands for Huawei, and N stands for CATL. Sounds a bit confusing, doesn't it? But really, Chang'an's naming of the platform uses the initials of each company's name in Pinyin, and CATL's Pinyin name is Ning Shidai. Now, this new EV they're manufacturing is in the full vehicle commissioning phase and it will be unveiled by the end of this year, the company said. Now, the Avatar brand is led by Chang'an, with Huawei and CATL responsible for smart car solutions and battery solution technologies. Obviously, CATL is making the batteries, Huawei's making the tech, the infotainment, etc. Now, there is a teaser image of this car, and I've got to say, from the teaser, it looks really good. It looks like kind of a cooler looking version of Ford's EV, the Mustang Mach-E. I think it looks really futuristic. You can see the split headlights there and the coupe-like styling. I'm not a fan of the tiny headlights, but in general, I really like the overall silhouette. Nice car. Now, the E1 is a mid-sized SUV, all electric, and it'll be equipped with Huawei's intelligent vehicle solutions and CATL's batteries, like I said. Now, over the next three years, Avatar will develop coupes, SUVs, MPVs, and other forms of new vehicles for a total of 11 new EVs. Now, in addition to the E11, Chang'an unveiled its first really sexy looking vehicle, the C385, based on its new dedicated EV platform. And that platform is codenamed EO. I've got to say, I absolutely love the front of this car. The design is, I think it's fairly simple on the front. 
It actually looks like an EV though. You can see that there's no intake there. It's closed off at the front. It's got those thin, narrow LED headlights, but they're just the right size. They're not too thin. And even the side look, it's quite a simple style. It's got some curves there on the side. The LED lights at the back, the whole light structure at the back reminds me a little bit of the Dodge Charger, but in a good way. And overall, you've got to admit, it's one of the sexiest looking sedans on the market. Well, that will be on the market soon anyway. Guys, tell me what you think, guys and girls. Got to be politically correct now, don't we? Guys and girls, tell me what you think of the look on in the comments section below. Do you think it's one of the best looking cars? If this was available, would you consider buying one? Now, Chang'an says that the vehicle incorporates its latest design philosophy. It's got a faux front grille. I think they've done that really, really well. A rather intricately designed front bumper slim cluster headlights a spoiler sort of a spoiler but i think it doesn't spoil the car as many spoilers do aerodynamic wheels and the interior and the powertrain remain to be revealed later so unfortunately i don't know the specifications other than the fact that we're going to see more than likely catl's lithium-ion phosphate batteries in this car that will help the company to keep the price low but other than that, we don't know the power of the motors, whether it will be dual motor front and rear or a front motor or a rear motor. When I do know that information, I'll create a new video. Now, Chang'an's previous release was called the Uni V. And that was the first sedan in the Uni lineup because all the other models in that lineup are actually SUVs. Now, the Uni V features an aggressive exterior and comes powered by a petrol engine. So, I'm not here to talk about that, obviously. Now, as far as I know, Chang'an don't have any intentions currently to sell this vehicle outside of the Chinese market, unfortunately. But I do think there's a high probability that within the next five years, we'll start to see them selling their vehicles outside of China. Why? Because there's huge demand for them. Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.